Kje strese? Kje se tomu ne trese? Kje se strese? A, Beckham Junior! Pa če tengo... Andorenja, Andorenja! Sedem pa sedem katračo! Katračo! No, če katračo, si klingo! Adios! Komo? I don't know what you're saying. Hello, Palmira Hostel, I'm staying. Um, well, hello from Tegucigalpa. 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 Jesus. Anyway, I'm staying in this hostel. Really nice. They have dorms for $9. And I have private rooms for $20 or enough. I recommend it because it's close to a lot of things, including it's a safe neighborhood. You have US Embassy right over there and a Brazilian embassy and a bunch of hotels and banks and restaurants and bars, so I recommend it. Again, I apologize for recording on my phone since my GoPros have let me down. Trying to cross the street here. First thing first, I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee, iced coffee, and then I'm gonna walk to the center. And then we'll see what happens. Wish me a beautiful day, just like I wish you. Got my iced coffee, uh, almond milk. This is where I got so loud. This is where um, I'm gonna see the games later in there. Part of these uh, behind these hotels, so, and then towards straight here is the it's the center. Even the locals tell me it's, it's unsafe to walk and stuff. But no, gotta be safe. Come on, people don't need people every day. So that's why it is. People don't need people every day. I don't believe that. <laughs> All right, I'm approaching. Central Park of Tegucigalpa. Central Park. Let me get close to it. It looks like a um, four by four, maybe slightly bigger than Santa Barbara Central Park. There it is. What does it mean, Tegucigalpa? They're saying two, three, four meanings. One of them is the Silver Hills, Hills of Silver, because they contain a lot of silver. Uh, Tegucigalpa. And the other meaning is uh, painted rocks, rocks, uh, city of many rocks, etc. So I don't know exactly. Okay, I'm gonna find a museum. So the Casa de Morazan, he gave me some information because they didn't have anything in English so the best I could understand is the Morazan guy, the king or the revolutionary king used to live there and he wanted the unification of a whole entire Central America. And um, 
and the battle and the painting was he was uni unifying the locals against the government so unify together so yeah that was interesting history now i want to go check out the other museum uh, the the identification museum all right i'm at the museum of museum para la identidad universal i think it translates to museum of uh, un um, universal identity <laughs> can't translate right now but like the people of Honduras, the history and everything. So I'm gonna start, I'm waiting for a guide who speaks English, because actually I wanna get the most out of it. And I'm gonna get down the Honduran culture. Marlon. Marlon, this is my guide, Marlon. Hi. Marlon, how you doing today? I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> um, tell me why you're wearing the mask. Uh, because uh, I, I don't care the, the, the coronavirus, but uh, I, I, I think about my wife. My wife is really, really sick, so I have to take care of myself, protect her. her. Well, you're an English tour guide. That means you deal with a lot of internationals. So you're wearing the mask because you know you're going to meet a lot of internationals. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Only, only <laughs> he's being like, humble, but he told me like coronavirus. No, 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 no. He's like international people coming here. <laughs> That's too funny. You oh, you need 3D glasses. Do we yes. don't have them, or what's the story? We don't have them. Are you guys getting 3D glasses? Sorry? Are you going to get 3D glasses? We have to buy more, but we don't have money, I think. Oh, uh, okay. I understand. Why did they move from Camayagua to Tegucigalpa? The both. The what both. was the first reason? The economy in Tegucigalpa was different, so the, the Because mining, of mining, right? The, the mining American so, company won. So the second, was, second, the best reason? The second best reason was the, 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 the lover, the, the second wife, the second woman of... Of the president, of, the of president, Soto. Marco Aurelio Soto. The guy loved the women, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what happens when you date more than one girl. You gotta deal with the jealousy. <laughs> well over here, what's up my friend? Where are you? Where are you my friend? It's so sunny. Yeah, yeah. There you go. My friend Joel over here, he lived in Louisiana, right? Yes. What did you do there? Uh, free gear. Working in Louisiana. What kind of job? Uh, ¿Cuál trabajo? Construction. Construction. Welding. And then what happened? Uh, Boom. <laughs> no. It's I okay. Back, back up. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's normal. It happens. Yeah. But he's being humble. Unfortunately, he got deported, but it is what it is. But he... Maybe, maybe come back. To the United States. Maybe. Maybe you want to go back? Maybe. Maybe last next year. Or what if they catch you again? Hmm? What if they catch you again? Uh, here, little, little no, what if they catch you and then they send you back? You're done, you can't go back anymore. Uh, because, I have, because I have probably money. money. And you want to go back and make more money? Yeah, yeah. In Louisiana or somewhere else? Louisiana, Mississippi. No, go to New York or make more money. Uh, go to New York. Oh. Yeah. I work okay. in New York. See? Uh, what do you work? Actor? Yeah. So, actor? The theater, he works in the theater, you know, but they're working right now, can't get in to see. Adios. Okay. Adios. Good luck. So that river Grande, Rio Grande Chiloteca, I don't know why they say Grande, that thing is not even medium. Hello, hello, wanna say hello? Say hello, amigo, donde estas? Que tal? Tranquilo. Ah, muchos zapatos. Wow. <laughs> so far, <laughs> so far away. Mira. Eh, 100% de 100%. Órale. Aquí con mi nuevo amigo Rolando. ¿Qué tal? Rolando, Rolando que en tu Mitsubishi. 88. 88. 88, Mitsubishi 88. 
Përbëllet dhe një stare dhe Honduras. 100% dhe katracio? 100%. 100%. Këtë bjerë? And I was um, just right there. Wow, it smells bad. Is, is the Rio Choleta? Come see me, the Rio Choloteca. Wow, it smells bad. Look at this shit. Train some team, he said. I don't remember the name. I didn't know what he said, the name of the team, but look at them. This cow still chilling. Uh, football stadium. Man, it smells bad. It's the president's house, palace. Back in the day, maybe what, 30 years ago or something like that? Or maybe 50 years ago, I don't remember exactly, but I have to go check in. Probably the river was flowing and lots of water. And this looks to be, back in the day, the garden. Damn. Right there, middle of the day, lots of sun. I'm trying to go to that top if I can go. But it just smells bad, boy. I wouldn't want it to work here. Oh, biblioteca is over here. I don't even want to bother that. Cafeteria and banyos. Cafeteria? Un salado. Hey, let me go out. This is what I want. Ah, so that's downstairs. So the view here, man, is spectacular view. They knew how to build it up in the hill, the river, amazing views. Yeah, but look at what happened now. The river is disgusting, smells really bad. And they, they abandoned this, or whatever happened here. Wow. Mm. That's a garden. Worse and worse. Yes, this is where they held meetings and talks and gossiping politicians to decide what we're gonna do with that person, this person, that land, or whatever. I wonder if they threw anybody from up here and killed them. So these are the bridges that they built. Choloteca River, connected to Comoya Guela, I believe it's called. And this is the Tegucigalpa. The city needs an upgrade, upgrade. Oh, that looks nice right there on the top of the stadium, the flag. Okay, so check it out. All right, let me go. Let me go find the watch the games now. I need to rest as well. <laughs>